I've got some insane team of the week investments that can help you make a ton of coins on FIFA 22. But before we jump into that, I need to show you the easiest way for you to get some coins. If you guys are looking for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market, make sure to head over to utnice.com and use code CHIEF for 6% off at checkout. Now let's go ahead and jump right into this video. All right, boys, so jumping into these team of the week investments, we're going to talk about why this works, when to buy, when to sell and what cards to pick up here. So let's go ahead and get into this. So why do we invest in team of the weeks? So basically with team of the week, obviously, these cards are only in packs for one week, meaning they only have this week of supply and that's it. So typically, this is going to be their cheapest time on the market is when they're in packs. Now, in terms of when to buy, typically, it's going to be Saturday or Sunday when they're in packs meaning when you're watching this basically today or tomorrow and the reason for that is you get lightning round supply you get weekend league rewards you get everything like that now why would these cards rise why would a navas rise why would a Di maria rise why would a rashika rise these will basically just rise one when they're out of packs because as these guys get put into sbcs these are off the market forever they're never coming back if they get put into an sbc and they're also not getting more supply because they're only in packs for one week so there's going to be less of them on the game and over time that will just make the price go up now why what else basically why would these get put into sbcs when you continuously get player sbcs like we're going to get showdown sbcs every single day ea mentioned during this promo showdown sbcs every single day means team of the weeks are going to be required you can see there's a team of the week required for weston mckinney there's a team of the week required for for brozovich here there's going to be team of the weeks required which means as more content comes out more team of the weeks are going to be required driving the price up so that's that now let's get in to what cards to pick up so when it comes to what cards to pick up what i like to do is i bring you over to footbin here and i bring up the team of the week i'll have a look at it and just from knowing the market i've got my eye on a couple cards just specifically words shaw chuameni kaylor navas i i like the look of that bail somewhat as a real madrid striker there's a couple cards i've got an eye on so what I like to do is go to footbin cheapest by rating here. And what you can do is apply the gold inform filter and it will show you the cheapest team of the week in every single rating here. And what you'll typically find is that the cheapest in each rating will be someone that is currently in packs. And again, that is because these guys are currently getting supply, which basically just means they're going to be the cheapest because they're actually getting listed on the market. So then we're just going to have a look through here. And one card I'm a big fan of to point out is Kaylor Navas. Now, the reason for this is he's 12K cheaper than the next 90 rated in form. He actually is a usable card and gets good links. And if we look at gold 90 rated cards, he is the cheap. He is also the cheapest 90 rated card on the market joint with Harry Kane. And he's a team of the week. That just seems like a no brainer to me. So I love this Kaylor Navas as an investment. So let's get into some more of these that I'm a big fan of. Next up, ones that I like, I really like Luke Shaw here as well. Luke Shaw, if you can get him like 25k or so, again, these cards, you can definitely get cheaper whenever there's packs out, whenever there's rewards, lightning rounds, you can try to bid snipe on these, everything like that. Luke Shaw here for 25k or less, English Premier League, Manchester United, left wing back, he hits it all for SBCs, he's a great card. So Luke Shaw and Shua Many are probably my two big ones as 86 team of the weeks. I think these are really solid and they're going to do well out of packs. One, a good rating, great links, everything like that. And two, just good cards in game as well. And the Shua Many we're looking at is the 86 one. I don't see him here yet. He's going to be flooded with 82s and 84s, but the 86 one is the one we're looking at here. So Shaw, Chuameni, Kaylor Navas, I'm a big fan of. Next up, Luis Diaz here. I like a look of as well. Again, some of these are going to be fodder type ones. Some of them are just going to be like, I think because he's a decent card in game, he's going to rise well out of packs. This guy, if you can get him at 18, 19K, it's just a little too good to sit at this price for a Liverpool team of the week card. I think he's just too popular, too good to stay this cheap. So I like to look at this card. Card. so the next one i think i like quite a bit is going to be this mandy card here he's an 83 rated center back and right now he's a little expensive at like 14 and a half k but if you can get this guy like 13 and a half k maybe 13 k i think this is a great buy because he is a la liga center back he gets really really good links as a lot of fodder is in la liga and a lot of people typically just use that when they're 
when they're basically just trying to get SBCs done. So I think Mandy is a great buy as well there. And then something to mention as well is any of the discard team of the weeks, guys here that you can get for like 10K are always like a good investment to just throw in your club and forget about them. And the reason for that being, sorry, I didn't bring it up. The, uh, the discard team of the weeks, anybody here for 10K, these gold guys are a great buy. And the reason for that being just a lot of times, these guys will shoot up in price due to, let's say 84 plus player picks, 85 times three packs, anything like that. So if you have extra coins, throw these in your club. It could be a long hold, but it's worth at least giving a go and seeing, you know, just hold them in your club because they're going to go up at some point. So if you've got the extra coins, just throw them in your club and forget about those cards. But guys, that is going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video.